Are you a work comp patient with a bulging disc in your low back and relentless pain? What if I told you I could get rid of years of pain in four days? Watching the next 15 minutes could change your life. My name is Harley. Well, I, I age? 26. And how, where do you live? Fresno, California. And how long take you to get here? About maybe six months. Six months? But how long drive? Just drive down here. Oh, the drive? About four hours. And what do you do for work again? A truck driver. A truck driver. And so tell us about this work comp case. He, uh, 2016, around Christmas, he had a work comp case that, what was the claim for? Uh, back injury. Back injury from doing what? Heavy lifting. What was the pain? Oh, immediately. Just uh, instant numbness down my right leg, sciatica. It was crucial. MRI, a neurology test. Neurology test? Yeah. What did they find in the MRI? Did they tell you what they found? Uh, possible yeah. disc herniation, disc bulge on L3, L4, L4, L5. They sent me to do physical therapy. And then after physical therapy, it helped a little bit. And I was doing chiro at the same time. And then um, acupuncture. Uh, they want to do surgery, they want to do a disectomy. So why don't you tell us uh, about how this has affected your life? What has this stopped you from doing? Oh yeah, going. To, I used to go on vacations all day, every day. Now what, I what can't. What kind of vacations? Like what kind of vacations? Disneyland, um, Universal Studio, Pismo Beach. Because why? Because it's fun, right? Oh yeah. And why can't you go to Disneyland? What's wrong with Disneyland? The walk. As soon as I start walking, immediately I gotta sit down. So no matter how much you want to go, you can't walk across Disneyland. Oh no. I'll faint. You faint? faint. Yeah. Why faint? I had so much pain that I can't. It takes my breath away because my girl has to pick her up a lot. I can't pick her up when she's crying. Oh, when I was feeding her, she wouldn't be moved, so I had to give it to my because girl. Because why? Because it hurt just to feed your baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. That don't help. Any pain there? No. Right there. Right there. This is what, 20 degrees, guys? So I'm going to go a little more. Even more pain, oh, yeah. right? Gotcha. I'm going to pull this down. Yeah. Yeah, more pain. Good. And I bend this this way. Pain there off. Which one's worse, left or right? Right? Okay, how bad right here? I guess he feels that right there. I'm gonna check one more place in your low back here. How about that one? Not as bad? Interesting, I'm pushing on L3 right now. So L5 is really hot right there, gotcha. Let's check up here. How about that one? A little bit? On the left. On the left here? Okay, let's check your neck. Which one's worse, right or left side? This one or this one? Both. Both? Which one's both the same? Now we check this versus down here. Obviously this is worse, right? Is that worse? I'm gonna pay you back there, sir. Right there, uh, 10. That's a 10 in the back now? Yeah. Got sure. your glass, stand up. Maybe uh, from the food. Oh, uh, eating. Okay, oh, back like this, sir. All right. How about that? How much pain there? I was probably like a seven. Seven, stand up, please. Now, spread your uh, feet closer together. Feet closer. More close, more close. Good. Now squat as much as you can. Make sure you get this ace. How much pain in your back? About six. Gotcha. Stand up. Anything in the knees at all? No. Can you stand up on your toes real quick? Stand up on your toes five seconds. No, without grabbing the door. Just stay up there. No, 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 no. Fall, dude. What's wrong? Wait. I think. Uh, Are you 75 years old with terrible balance? Nah, yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> we go one leg. One leg, try one leg. <laughs> okay, you guys put them down, put them down. So how long can you stand here for? Go ahead and stand a second. Stand. How long can you stand like that? Probably about like a minute. A minute? Yeah. Gotcha. So let's stand like this for a minute and see how you do. And then we'll walk you one more time in the hall. And so what happens as you stand there for a minute? Start slowly going forward. Why is that? For the release the pain. Release the pain? Yeah. And gotcha. And when you start slowly, le when you slowly lean forward, what does that do to your pain? Decreases a little bit, right? Yeah, decreases a little bit. Now what happens after another minute though? I start touching walls. Yeah, why? Because it's release released a little bit of pain, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but you can't do it. Yeah. So let's see how you do this. And how often does this happen? Every day, right? For the yeah, last yeah. couple of years? Yeah. Now has it been getting worse or staying the same or getting better over the last two years? It was it was good. It was beginning better and then it got worse again. It got worse again. Yeah. So, um, how do you feel right now? Right now I feel pain, crucial pain. And what, what number are you at right now? Like a nine, like going a nine. to a 10 right now. Nine, 10? Yeah. Let's give me 10 more seconds. I don't want you to, try not to grab the wall. We're gonna have you walk one more time. We wanna get this on camera, what you really do, okay?
And this happens at the grocery store, right? Walmart, uh, Costco. Yeah. Just... I got I to gotta hang on a cart and lean forward. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about when you push the stroller? Is, is the baby pushing you or are you pushing the baby? Uh, <laughs> if she can walk, man, yeah, that'd be better. Yeah. So I got to twist the ears. Okay? So let's go back on the t over here. Okay, go back, please. Okay. Now come over here, too. Cameron. And look at, look at, he can't even put his legs, can't even put his legs straight. And he has to spread his legs down here just because his feet hurt so much. And so uh, a lot, a lot of pain, this guy's in. Here are the results of the x-rays. A 38 millimeter right imbalance and a 14 degree scoliosis. Here we have a 10 degree scoliosis, a nine millimeter right short leg. Here we have an inverted Alice, pretty horrible. Worst neck reversal ever. And an inverted low back, and we've never seen that usually, and constipation. A couple hours I was walking, felt a lot better. Started moving a lot more. So what did feel better? What felt better about it? The pain was less, or you just moved better, or a combination of things? Let us know specifically what happened. The, the moving was better, uh, the pain was still there, just uh, the movement was more, I was able to stand up longer, walk longer. Gotcha. And so normally you wouldn't be able to stop, you couldn't have gone as yeah, far, right? I gotcha. Paused. Now what about all that stuff, because I tried to get him to stop leaning on counters and things, were you able to stop that at all? Yes. Because he likes to do this kind of crap. Yeah, leaned over stuff. Yeah, yeah. that was hard to break, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. So just give us that percentage of what kind of improvement do you have today versus yesterday? About 10%. Gotcha, perfect. Yesterday was five, so oh, we're getting there. Okay, so let's go through the range of motions. I'm kind of curious before we adjust him where he's at. So let's go ahead and bend over, touch your toes. Okay, what is that at? Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's about a five. Right? About a five? Yeah. Oh, good, stand up. That was a 10 yesterday. Go back like this. How about that, sir? Oh, yeah, that's about an eight. About an eight? Yeah. Now feet close together again. Now squat. Uh, four, okay, let's try one more time, a little lower. With that, four? Yeah. So, you guys see this, man. I mean, this is a lot better. How many visits have we given you? Four. One. Now, if you listen to him breathe, guys, we talked about this off camera. He's had a problem breathing his whole life. Yeah, I'll tell us about this. I'll talk about it in a second. Woo wee! How was that? Oh, yeah. Jelly bean. Oh, I got hit with a two by four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a hammer. It's a yeah. hammer. Probably about your science is about breathing. Oh yeah, I haven't been able to breathe since I was small. Since what? Since I was small. Yeah. Anything happened back then and started it? No, just um, I just knew I had asthma. Yeah, I had asthma. But you can hear him breathe. Come a little closer. So try to breathe in your nose. You can hear all that congestion. It's not just now. It's not just because of the morning, right? It's you have it all the time like yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. So uh, why am I pointing that out? Well, one, um, mouth breathers, which he is a mouth breather, uh, causes a tremendous amount of pressure to the, to the thoracic cavity, which gets in the way of his treatment. I mean, it stops us from getting it better. Because why? Because the more you mouth breathe, the more you incorporate your thoracic cavity in breathing, the more you create tension in your shoulders and your neck. And he always feels tight. And so he's always struggling to breathe, and that struggle causes pain. Uh, tell us about your breathing. Oh, a lot better. The breathing is a lot yeah. better. Yeah, and so come a little closer, let's get his breathing again. So breathing does. Yeah, it's even better than a minute ago. You can hear that, guys. Tell us about the first, second, and third lap. You told me about how that changed. Took a little rest on the second one. After the third one, I was able to walk a lot smoother. A lot smoother, right? Yeah, breathing in a lot What's more. smoother mean to you? Uh, walking more. Walking more? Yeah, without pain. Now what do we just teach you? How to do the eight walk. Good. And how is this making your back feel? A lot less pressure. A lot less pressure? Doing better. It's also causing his breathing problems here. So all I'm doing is... Good. Creating better opportunity for the um, spine to work properly, thus drawing the atlas off the occiput which uh, allows more um, space for the brainstem to work. And so uh, he's feeling it right away. So uh, what do you think of the process so far? Uh, I think it's working. I feel a little better. It will walk a little bit longer and stand. So, uh, but what do you think about uh, how Dr. Thayer treats you and teaches you at the same time? Oh yeah, he's a professional. He's a cool guy. Uh, he's funny. 
He's a character, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys gotta come in and uh, see what he does for you. I feel like a lot more rested, a lot more. I'm able to walk a lot more, stand a lot more. Gotcha. And you went to the uh, store to get ice cream. You said you stood in line to pay. And what was that like? Oh, it was good. I was able to not touch stuff, to lean on stuff. Um, able to go in and go out. And normally you were having to lean on things just to kind of oh, support yeah. yourself, right? I'll grab a cart real quick, lean over it. Gotcha. And so you didn't have to do that, right? No. Tell us how much better you are right now. You're about what percentage right now? About 25. And so tell us about the laps around the building on Wednesday. Oh yeah, I was getting a lot of stiffness on my hip, and then um, it was a little hard for me to walk the first two laps, but after the third one, it was a lot easier. A lot easier. Yeah, easy. On the hip. Why don't you tell them real quick, and we'll get you adjusted in a second. Tell them what's so hard about learning what I'm teaching you. Oh, because your body wants to shift it. It's actually at that moment. It's just, you're working out different nerves, different muscles. Yeah. 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 Okay, how's the breathing through your nose, by the way, by the way Ben? They opened up. It opened up. It's been opening up more? Yeah. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I couldn't breathe through both, and it's a either one that opens up. Got gotcha. you. So now you have one's one. open. Now it's more open. So tell us what kind of car do you have? A Challenger. Yeah. Dodge Challenger. Yeah, yeah. Ja Challenge. Ja Challenger, yes. Piece of crap. Uh, beautiful looking car. I love the way it looks, but the crop, the, the chop roof, uh, makes him. How do you, how do you sit in the car? I haven't even talked about this. Uh, how do you fit in the car? I throw myself all the way back. Extend my <laughs> <laughs> extend my legs all the way up. <laughs> and just drive. And just drive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but roof lines are important, guys. Posture in a car is important. around the office I started feeling uh, my back get tight and then my hip pain on both sides okay I told I taught you how to do something right yes and what I teach you how to relax good and, and then you try to stop a couple times did you was it able to were you able to do it um, not really not right really, yeah. yeah and so what you have to do you got around the building you were kind of hurt and everything's kind of spazzing right yeah and then what'd you do uh, I took a break sat down Gotcha. Caught my breath. Yeah. And sometimes we have to have this refresher break because what happens is the brain starts stressing out so much it can't calm down. So uh, I'm all for that, but I, I'm trying to get people to, to learn on the fly, but sometimes you just got to start all over. So you start all over and what happened then? Uh, started loosening up on my body. I okay. was able to walk a little bit better. Better? And so that whole second lap, what happened? How was it compared to, how much better was the second lap compared to the first lap? The first lap was like at an eight. The second uh, lap was like at a six. Shoulders are so freaking tight. So I'm gonna force them to relax a little bit. And this is gonna be a little different adjustment and you just share people with people how you feel with this one and see what happens, okay? All right. Tell them how this feels when I push here. Oh, hurt. Feels good, right? Oh. Feels sweet, huh? Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> Now, do you have pain shooting up into your head, down your back? Yeah, my head. Your head, right? Head. How do you feel after that? I know, Relief. That, I know it hurts, huh? Relief. Relief. So I'm gonna adjust in the chair right now, just sit right here. Okay. Okay, let your head just fall over this way. Good. I'm just the lower part of your neck now. Let this go this way. Good. What does that feel like? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Uh, uh, yeah. Is that different than laying down here? Yeah. How is it different, sir? You feel, you feel a different type of snap. Yeah, right? Yeah. Why'd you laugh? Oh, man. <laughs> Can we do the left side now? Yeah. Okay. This way. Good. Oh, yeah, I feel good. I feel good? Yeah. A little different than laying down here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So tell us how this feels different than this morning's treatment. That would be how does this feel different? A lot less painful. Where? Oh, everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah. So it's able to get it a little faster now? Yeah. Does that sound good to you? How's the pain right now? Yeah, I'm good. All much better? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
because you were six just a minute ago. You said in the waiting room right there, right? Yeah. And what Sorry. is it right now? Last count. Uh, four. Four. Yeah. This is the best one we've had so far. Yeah, right? all, uh, since I've been. Yeah. 